I'm on a whole nother level And if this song was the weather Then you would need an umbrella I'm not trying to be selfish But this my life, you not welcome I don't make deals with the devil At the age of five, I knew I was a star At the age of twelve, I saw my mama car Went to jail on my birthday I was thirteen and I owned two Frozen dinners, no warm food Never been, I'm trying to warn you. By the time I was 15, the judge banned me from my own city. I was misled as a teenager. They was trying to paint the wrong picture. I made an executive decision. If I didn't, I was headed to prison. Whole neighborhood full of hoovers, but I used to wear red for a living. I always said I was different. Used to be scared of commitment. I got a pimp on that red and vicious. I do not fuck with the laws. You're making me very suspicious. Shoot it like Curry and Swish it. I would not ever depend on no witness. No devil in hell can defend me. I'm trying to tell you I'm relentless. Locked in the cell with some killers. You tell me you really. Tell me you figured that dick cause you figured that you would not come off the loop. He don't know I got a cold pistol. And I'm the grand that stole Christmas. Seven figures won't make a difference. I can paint a picture that'll leave your speech. Like my commission. I'm trying to free the people. I would not stop to be treated equal. My bro been on death row for over 10 years. I shed tears till I need to see him. I pray to God, told him, please release him. I want this song to release some emotions that made me lose focus of what was in front of me. Uh, I am above all my obstacles, and that is why I chose to put this up under me. If y'all ain't real, don't call me. I float like a butterfly, stand like a motherfucker bumblebee. I am the best, no need to test. But number two, number three, number four, number five, or number six. I am the number one pick. I'm trying to make it legit. I'm trying to do this so they can be rich with. Family that pray for the sick and I won't ever say that I quit Even though at times I want to throw the towel in Mama said I'm lost and she wondering where her child is I'm shooting free throws surrounded by all these foul men These are all some shoes you could never walk a whole mile in Mama I'm smiling but wildin' while driving down to sleep Racing all these demons that's teaming up just to anger me This ain't no movie, my music is what they came to see Mama said, son, you special, and now your lyrics so clever, I wish that this was forever. What it do, what it do, is 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I had to do a part two, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I want to, uh, kind of leave where I left off at, uh, but before I get to that, uh, I want to thank my audience, uh, I want to thank those that's, uh, that's riding with me, uh, on this journey, uh, it's much love, uh, but, uh, like I told y'all, uh, war is love sometimes, sometimes you gotta go through war for those that you love, uh, yeah, sometimes we living in times where uh, motherfuckers don't even prove they self. Yeah, I want to prove myself to my people and my community. Yeah, you got to prove your love sometimes. And uh, yeah, we can say we love one another all we want. But you motherfuckers got to show it. Uh, it. It take a little more action. Uh, we do too much texting. Uh, we do too much uh, typing and shit. Uh, you motherfuckers don't even know how to carry on the conversation. Uh, yeah, you motherfuckers need to, uh, start talking more, and yeah, talk to the ones you love, and quit texting them you love them, yeah, sometimes they need to hear your goddamn voice, yeah, yeah, cause, uh, you can type some shit, uh, some shit, uh, it touches my heart when I hear some shit, yeah, yeah, when I can look at you, and you're right in front of me, and you ain't two hours away, and texting me all the time, uh, go see the ones you love sometimes, uh, check on them, uh, let them know you love them, uh yeah yeah because we are family and uh uh i i want to i want to really 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 um um talk a lot about the black family and uh how important it is uh we falling a lot we falling very short and uh but we got to build it back up pimp and it's gonna take a whole lot of work so we got to work together uh i know i can't do this alone uh i know i'm not a superhero 
Uh, I'm just a man, uh, yeah, just with a plan and an idea. Yeah, I ain't shit, though. Yeah, I ain't shit. Uh, I'm, I don't have the best plan. Uh, I don't have the best mind. Uh, I, uh, I told y'all I'm crazy, uh, too. So, yeah, I'm fucked up. Yeah, it's a lot of shit I need help with. So, uh, I'm not trying to... Uh, let you motherfuckers know I'm the goddamn teacher of all teachers. Nah, I'm just really speaking my opinion. So yeah, let, let let's go and get to the shit. Um, okay. Uh, before I left off, uh, yeah, I, I mentioned about the Pacquiao fight. Uh, Miguel Cotto was coming off. Uh, yeah, yeah, the shit happened with Margarito, and 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 yeah, he went back in in the rematch, and he beat Margarito. Uh, yeah, Kodo showed that he's a real warrior. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought that was a great fight in that rematch. Uh, we know what happened in the first fight with Margarito, and we know Kodo wasn't the same. Okay, but let's get to this Pacquiao fight. Uh, that, 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 that's a fight that makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's a fight. That's a fight that, uh, yeah, every time I watch it, uh, 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 no matter how hard I hit the blunt, I can't get high. Uh, it blows my high. Uh, it fucks me up. Every time I watch that fight, because I think Cotto is a better fighter than Pacquiao. Uh, I think he's a better fighter. Uh, he was using the jab very well. Uh, he was he was making Pacquiao look very uh, amateurish. Yeah, he was looking very amateurish, and uh, yeah, yeah, he and Cotto was big as shit. But somewhere in the middle of that fight, um, Pacquiao started hurting the shit out of uh, Cotto, and just and Cotto just kind of he just he got in survival mode and he stopped using his jab, and and Pacquiao's power seemed to be the difference in that fight. Uh, I want y'all to know some uh, fans. Uh, 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 y'all might as well start watching uh, cartoons. Let me tell you something. I've seen some shit in Tarzan. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the white boy. I, I've seen uh, uh, shit in the Tarzan movie uh, that's more believable than the Pacquiao uh, Kodo fight. Yeah, when the white boy swung from the trees in the jungle with the elephants and bounced off the elephant and landed on another tree. Yeah, and wrestled lions and controlled all the animals and they listened to the white boy. That shit is more believable than the Pacquiao versus Kodo fight. Uh, like I told you, I think Kodo's a better fighter. Uh, Man, uh, that that's a fight I will always question. And yeah, 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 the Margarito fight was suspect too. Um, but yeah, uh, I think Cotto was just a better fighter. I think he, uh, out of all the, out of out of all the fighters Floyd fought, I think a prime Cotto would uh give Floyd the most trouble and a prime Sugar Shane. Uh, those two fighters that he, they would have he would have had to go through some things to beat those dudes. Um. <sighs> What was I finna say? Um, okay, uh, another reason why I think Cotto beats Trinidad. Uh, I think Cotto was just mentally tougher. Uh, I think Trinidad, yeah, because I seen him fold. Uh, yeah, he folded uh, a couple times. Uh, in the Benoit Hopkins fight, uh, yeah, it was a lot of animosity. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of animosity. Uh, yeah, Trinidad. I'm, yeah, he 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 had a lot of disdain for Bernard. Uh, Bernard dis disrespected his country and his people in Puerto Rico. Uh, and after the fight, uh, cause I pay attention to body language. Uh, Trinidad had a look on his face like he'd been jumped, or like yeah, when you when you when you check in on the unit and they heart check you and they send two or three of them at you and you, it's your first time down and you fold doing the heart check. Yeah, that's kind of how he looked. He looked like he looked like a deer uh, at five in the morning, uh, and it's an eighteen wheeler coming down the road and he's stuck. Uh, that's that that's how Trinidad looked after that fight, and it made me question his heart. And also in the Winky Wright fight, uh, I seen him quit. Yeah, I seen him quit early in that fight, and and he just never tried to win. Um, Cotto, Cotto didn't give up. He 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 was a he was a true fighter. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you another thing. 
uh, Trinidad was the bigger star, and I know they try to make it like because of the knockouts, and and that's why, and it's because of the knockouts. But I think Cotto was just a much better fighter, bro. And I think I think he was more marketable, and I think he uh, he was a, he was a gentleman. He was a he was a true competitor. Um, I I, I just like Cotto. I like I like the style, how he, how he, how he moved around and shit like that. Uh, but like I say, uh, they they uh made uh Trinidad a much bigger star than Cotto. Um, I guess because of the knockouts. Um, I guess that's what they was trying to push at that time. But like I told you, I think I think Cotto beats the shit out of him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he beats the shit out of him. Um, but Trinidad, like I told you, I, I can see him hurting Cotto in the fight. I can see him hurting him, but I see Cotto recovering and just outboxing him, bro. Just outboxing him. And uh, like I told you, uh. Kodo, bro, a prime Kodo man is a major problem. I told you, I think he beats the dog shit out of Pacquiao, uh, a prime Kodo. I think a prime Sugar Shane beats the dog shit out of uh, Pacquiao. Uh, I told you, Pacquiao, uh, he got some suspect shit. Uh, it, it, it's some suspect shit with him. Uh, I don't trust him. Uh, yeah, and 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 we know the eight divisions. It was only six that he went through. But uh, yeah, it was some it was some super. He, that motherfucker did some shit. I'm telling you, it's some shit that the Incredible Hulk. You know when he turned green, it's some shit that motherfucker uh couldn't do that Pacquiao could do. Uh, yeah, he did some magical shit. Uh, I don't know what he used. Uh, I don't know what helped him. Uh, but yeah, it was some magical shit. Uh, he should have been on the Fantastic Four. Yeah, with that motherfucker with the rocks on him and shit. Yeah, he should have been with them motherfuckers. Uh, Pacquiao's a superhero. Uh, but yeah, I ain't got much to say on this shit. Uh, yeah, I think Cotto was great, bro. I think he should have been the superstar of, uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, I think he's, uh, no, I got Wilfredo Benitez as, as the best Puerto Rican fighter of all time. I got him as the best. Oh, and I got him as the best counterpuncher of all time uh, with, with Fredo Benitez. Very great fighter. But right after him, I got Miguel Cotto, man. So, yeah, I want to give you your flowers, Cotto. I think you're a great fighter of a show Hall of Famer. Um, you can fight in any era. Uh, and like I said, I like this style. I liked how he could box. He could really, really, really box, and he could punch. So, yeah, uh, shout out to you. Uh, shout out to you, Trinidad. But, uh, yeah, this here is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. Subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, smash the like button. And when you do subscribe, hit the bell icon. It will notify you when I drop more content, man. Because we dropping them and we real saucy, man. So, yeah, with that, I'm out.